You know what, I think we've been pretty hard on Poor World Battlefield 5 for the last couple of weeks or so. Well, mostly me, but today it's time for another details video. You know, details videos always seem kind of relaxed, you know, not that serious, mostly just fun looking at cool little details in video games. So today that's no different, we have a lot of cool details to look at and I told you I wouldn't stop doing these types of videos. So starting off with a pretty cool one. Recently I found out in the test range or firing range, however you want to call it, there are some pretty neat little details to be found. First of all, you can teleport to different locations within the firing range to test out, you know, different weapons and fly planes and stuff like that. And this teleporting mechanism has its own little audio effect. Take a listen. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's interesting that they took the time to add this sound effect. Furthermore, there are some more things to be seen in and around the test range. Firstly, somewhere near the weapons area, you can see some armor that belongs to the Sentry Elite class from Battlefield 1. Even the big machine gun is placed right next to it. That's pretty interesting. I think this is just for fun to be honest and not some hint that we'll see Elite classes in Battlefield 5 again, but still, it looks pretty cool. Next to this Elite class, you can find the Smiley from the Bad Company series. It's really, really subtle and you might not see it at first, but if you look close enough, there it is right there. Now, is this a hint to Battlefield Bad Company 3? Well, let me tell you, if Battlefield Bad Company 3 is in the works like the rumors and leaks are suggesting, this could very well be a hint. Another cool little detail is near the plane area. Here you can spawn in different planes and fly them and practice with them and stuff like that. Well, off to the side, you can see a plane carcass just laying around, which has been riddled with bullet holes and you know, it's pretty cool to see, but also, this giant ass wing mounted cannons are there as well. I believe this has been in the game for not too long, so it's pretty interesting to see it here. But I mean, just take a look how big this cannon is from up close. That's what she said. <laughs> Another cool detail can be seen with this Spitfire right here. Take a look at the nose exhaust when firing off the engine. I have no idea how it's called by the way, I'm just gonna call it nose exhausts. Anyway, you can see the fire shooting out of it when starting the engine. You can see this from outside the plane as well as from inside of the cockpit. Pretty cool. And staying with the planes for a little bit, I'm sure many of you know, if you are flying and change your perspective to inside of the cockpit, you can see a bunch of different dials and stuff like that inside the cockpit reacting to what you're doing with the plane. So if you're giving more throttle, you can see it. And if you're banking left or right, you can see that as well. Pretty cool. Also, what the hell is that? Also some smaller details regarding the planes, if you fly close enough to the ground, the landing gear will drop and if you're pulling some high G's, you can see your wings shake because of the heavy wind resistance. So that's pretty awesome little detail. Also I don't know if you noticed, but if you shoot your machine guns while in a plane, you can see the casings being ejected and there are a lot of them obviously. Pretty sure this was also in Battlefield 1, but I never covered it before, so there you go. Now stepping away from planes and going into Firestorm, did you know that in Firestorm if you are in this snowy area your soldier actually starts shivering because of the cold? Take a listen. Very subtle, but stuff like this adds to the immersion of the game and I always appreciate that. Not sure if this also is in the base multiplayer game by the way, but it is definitely in Firestorm and I really like it. Another thing which can only be found in Firestorm is with the water jeep or Schwimmwagen as it's actually called. This amphibious vehicle can be driven on land and can act as a boat when in the water. And a cool little detail is that when driving this in the water, you can see some sort of a propeller being pulled out from the back to give this car thrust while in the water and where you are on land again it folds back up and that's pretty cool. One detail that is actually useful in game is one that I learned from flag fire. You know those spotting flares you shoot up in the sky to highlight enemies on your minimap? Well I never really noticed it before but the flares actually have these cute little parachutes to slow down their descent and have longer hang time. Now that's pretty cool little visual detail but it gets better. When the flare is in this state, they are active and are showing the enemies within its radius, but it's possible to shoot those flares out of the sky at this point to negate their effect. So if you see an enemy shoot one of these in the sky, try to shoot them out. 
Next for some purely visual details, did you know that the squad leader will have this radio on his back? Of course you knew that, but did you know that like many other things in Battlefield, this is a direct replica of the real life World War II backpack radio version. The funny thing is, it's a German variant and the allied forces have the same radio on the back, so you know, there's that. But I still think it's really cool that they remodel this asset from the real life counterpart and if you remember correctly back in Battlefield 1, the Infiltrator Elite class had a Morse code transmitter that was also a direct replica of its real life counterpart. Like the other Elite class pickups, you can see its equipment and weapons laying in the crate. So with the Infiltrator Elite class, you can not only see the Martini Henry grenade launcher and the spawn beacon, but also the Morse code transmitter. And like a lot of models in Battlefield 1, this is what it was like in World War 1. This thing is called the RFC British Wireless Transmitter. Here's a picture of how it looks like in real life. So yet again, this tiny device in Battlefield 1 is pretty much a real life replica that I'm sure 99% of people won't ever notice. Now back to Battlefield 5 again. Did you know that if you shoot those red barrels near resupply stations, there are little flames spewing out of the bullet holes. You can do this several times before it explodes. Another visual detail is regarding the reloading animation for one of the sniper rifles. Most rifles in this game and the vanilla Battlefield 1 game have this reloading animation that when you're loading in individual rounds into the rifle, those bullets kinda spawn in your hand while the animation is looping and it doesn't look that good in my opinion. This was also in Battlefield 1 and they actually changed that with the Arbrest pistol. In Battlefield 5 there is also a sniper rifle that has this unique reloading animation and that is the Craig Yorkson. As you can see with this rifle you can load in 5 individual rounds into the internal magazine. With other bolt action rifles you'd have this animation loop that I was talking about but with the Craig Yorkson you can see each individual round in your hand as you are loading them in. Pretty cool. Here are some more cool details. The M30 drilling is as you guys know a double barrel shotgun with a third barrel suited for a rifle cartridge. You can switch your firing mode for this weapon and with that you switch back and forth between the shotgun shells and the rifle round. When you switch to your rifle round, you can see your soldier pushing some sort of a button near the stock of the M30 drilling. But what you also notice, as this happens, you can flip out this little iron sight on top of the gun. This is obviously for aiming with the rifle cartridge, because you don't really need to look through iron sights when shooting box shots. I think that's a pretty neat little detail. Also, did you know there are chickens on the map Panzerstorm? And you can actually blow them up, but relax PETA, this is an animal cruelty like in Battlefield 3. No, you can't really see them, but you can definitely hear them. Here, check this out. In the center of the map, you can find this chicken coop, and when standing close to it... You can hear a bunch of chickens. You can't see them though, like I said, but you can blow the whole place up, and then you cannot hear them anymore. I wonder why. The Commando Carbine is a recently added bolt action carbine for the Sniper class. It's a stealthy weapon because it is permanently fixed with a suppressor. It's only fitting to have a skin for this weapon called Parachutista or Paratrooper and this Paratrooper skin has something very very cool. Attached to the stock of the weapon you can see a map. Which is really cool because it's really, you know, embracing the stealthy nature of this weapon. You know you are a paratrooper behind enemy lines, so you need a map to navigate. At least that's what I make of it, and I think it's really cool. When you get a direct hit on an enemy tank with your tank shell, you can see a hole in the tank's armor right where your shell hit. Pretty cool touch. And for the final detail of this video, did you know with certain explosions, you can actually see the shockwaves traveling through the air. Take a look, it's very subtle and fast, but it's there and it looks really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this details video, if you did and you want to see more then don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.